This new Nanoleaf Smart Switch has a hidden light sensor and motion sensor inside of it. And these sensors are easier to set up and use than any other light sensor or motion sensor that I've ever tried. But this product is also extremely focused. Are the trade-offs that this switch makes going to be the most amazing thing for your smart home or a deal breaker that means you'll have to pass? I'm Eric Wielander. If you're new here, I've been an app developer on Apple platforms since 2011 and building up my smart home here on YouTube since 2018. So if you're into Apple or smart home tech, consider subscribing. Now, the Sense Plus switch on the surface looks like a lot of smart switches you've probably seen. There's an on button at the top, an off button at the bottom. In the middle, there are plus and minus buttons to adjust the brightness of lights. And Nanoleaf's also packed two side buttons, and you can configure those in the Nanoleaf app to cycle between different colors or color temperatures or some of Nanoleaf's dynamic lighting scenes as well as setting your lights to particular brightness level. And Nanoleaf also promises that these buttons will soon support matter as well. Now at launch, this switch is really focused on controlling Nanoleaf lights specifically. So when you set it up, you create a control group in the app which then means that this light is associated with a variety of Nanoleaf lights that it controls. And that brings us to setup. Of course, you have to set up your Nanoleaf lights first. And while I did purchase this light switch myself, thanks to your support of the channel, Nanoleaf actually sent me some of their new Wi-Fi Matter bulbs to test out with this light switch. So I installed some of those in my living room. In my experience, I needed to install a software update in the Nanoleaf app to get everything to work smoothly. And once I did, it's working great inside of Apple Home via Matter. And then you can set up and add your Nanoleaf Sense Plus smart switch to the app. You basically pull this plastic tab from the switch when it comes out of the box, and then you compare it with the app. And in the Nanoleaf app, you'll create the control group where you tie this switch to a number of Nanoleaf lights. The switch also comes with a magnetic mounting plate, which you can use the adhesive right on the back of the switch plate to put it on the wall. There are also holes to use screws to hang it in the wall, which I like that option because sometimes that's easier than using adhesive. And you don't actually have to use the mounting plate at all. You can just keep the switch out and about and also attach it to any other magnetic surfaces as well. And that gets into the placement of the switch, which is a lot more important than many other smart home controls and traditional light switches, because it's also using that location to sense motion as well as the ambient daylight to determine how it's going to adjust your lights. You want it to be a place where you're going to trigger that motion when you actually walk into that room. If you set it up like I did at the edge of a room in an open floor plan, you're gonna get a lot of false positives where you walk past the room and you end up turning on the lights because you're triggering the sensor even though you're not actually going into that room. Now, how is the switch's performance day to day? Well, I find it on par with any other smart lighting control like those from Philips Hue. It's very fast and reliable. And that's probably in part because Nanoleaf has their new light wave technology in this switch which communicates directly with Nanoleaf lights via this special light wave protocol. And that gets me to the control group. So you can go into the app and specify your settings for the control group. And if you want your light to turn on automatically for motion, and then if you want it to automatically turn off after a certain period of no motion detected. And you can also set how much daylight needs to be in the room in order to trigger the sensor to actually decide, actually it's dark enough, I'm gonna turn on the lights. And the motion sensing responsiveness also works great. I find when I'm walking by the motion sensor, it picks that up right away and turns the lights on accordingly. So I wanted to add some context that as I continued to use this switch, I did see some inconsistent performance with the motion sensing and using it to turn on my lights at night. Plenty of times it still works perfectly, but the problem is there's so much smarts going on behind kind of a black box in this case where it's hard to tell, was it the motion sensor didn't pick me up? Was it that it had trouble communicating with the lights? Did it somehow think it was daylight because the Christmas tree is right near it and maybe it had its lights on? It's hard to say what's fooling it, and I would love if Nanoleaf could provide a short-term log of maybe the last, even just 15 minutes, but ideally something like an hour, to be able to see 
what the decisions were that this switch was making so we can better troubleshoot is this a problem with my lights is it a problem with the switch location or something else about the switch to just iron out the details but in general it has still been something that is more or less set it and forget it which is really nice and hopefully makes some of this kind of automation a lot more accessible to a lot of people who don't want to put in the time to sort out and troubleshoot all these details. But that gets also back to the trade-off. If I couldn't use a Sense Plus smart switch in a room like this, my office has so many different lighting scenarios and I'm coming in here for so many different reasons, like recording a YouTube video, and I don't want the lights just changing to some setting I don't expect. But another room, maybe like the closet in my bedroom or my living room where I've been testing these out, those are great places where we expect traditional lighting to just come on when we're there and turn off when we're not there. And having an easy way to automate that has actually been harder to achieve than you might expect over the years. And it's nice to see Nanoleaf add a convenient option, especially if you're into their lighting. And I think the Sense Plus Smart Switch really gives us the first reason to trick out a whole room with Nanoleaf lights and not be mixing Nanoleaf lights with others because they've had a lot of really great accent lights over the years. So there hasn't been much of a reason to stay loyal to Nanoleaf across an entire room, aside from maybe some dynamic settings you might get if you're into their 4D system to sync the color of lights with your TV. But now with the Sense Smart Plus switch, you could see taking a specific room in your home where you want this kind of easy set it and forget it smart lighting and you could then focus that room around Nanoleaf lights and have a really great setup. But if you're looking for this to be a matter control that slots into controlling a bunch of different smart home systems, maybe Nanoleaf will add support for some of that over time, but even if and when they do, I wouldn't count on this switch to be the ultimate solution for that. There are plenty of other options out there that are great matter controls across the board, maybe like a Flick smart button or an RA Home smart button. Those are gonna give you a lot of options to control lots of accessories. This is gonna be more something that's great for focusing on Nanoleaf lights. Let me know in the comments, are you excited for this light switch? I certainly am. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Thanks again so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.